Evolution, Lesson 2, Biodiversity. In this lesson, we will explore the science and engineering practices of constructing explanations and designing solutions, engaging in argument from evidence, and obtaining, evaluating, and communicating information. Our cross-cutting concepts include patterns, cause and effect, and stability and change. So what is biodiversity? Biodiversity is a measure of all of the different organisms that we find in an ecosystem. This would be an example of a low biodiversity environment where really all we see are many abiotic components, non-living living things, and very few biotic components being living things. As we increase in biodiversity, we notice that organisms take on specific roles in that environment. As more and more organisms live in the environment, the specific roles that they inherit allow different organisms to fulfill other roles in the environment. Ecosystems can develop biodiversity over time as long as we minimize human influence. So biodiversity can go in either direction. It can be making its way towards high biodiversity or it can be making its way towards low biodiversity. Oftentimes, as we're making our way towards lower biodiversity, this is due to human influence. Also, things like natural disasters can cause ecosystems to move from high biodiversity towards a lower biodiversity. So biodiversity is the variety of all the different species of organisms on Earth or within a specific ecosystem. The greater the number of different species in an ecosystem, the higher the biodiversity. Tropical rainforests and coral reefs are considered to have the highest biodiversities on our planet. Why is biodiversity important? Biodiversity is important in maintaining the stability of an ecosystem and protecting it from environmental change. Different types of species living in an ecosystem interact and rely on one another for resources, including food and shelter. This is known as interdependency. Food webs contain many species. Each species relies on several others as a source of food. This means that if one species becomes extinct in that particular environment, those remaining can adapt by eating more of a different species. Biodiversity also plays an important role in maintaining the physical environment. This includes an ecosystem's climate, water supply, and soil quality. Nutrient cycles, such as the carbon cycle and the nitrogen cycle, rely on the presence of many different species of animals, plants, and microorganisms to function efficiently. All living species rely on nutrient cycles for their survival, as they are what ultimately provide organisms with the energy they need for growth. We have an interaction with all ecosystems, and we influence biodiversity, more so than any other organism on the planet. Over the past 200 years, our population has rapidly increased with 7 billion humans living on Earth today. The future of the human species on Earth relies on us maintaining a high level of biodiversity. Just like other species, we depend on ecosystems and the species they contain for resources such as food and shelter. So can you think of any examples of how humans rely on biodiversity?
Many human activities are reducing biodiversity in various ecosystems across the world. Some of these activities include quarrying or mining, farming, building, and then of course our removal of waste. It is only recently that measures have been taken to prevent human activity from negatively affecting ecosystems and to restore biodiversity. So in your brain, think about what do you think can be done to improve biodiversity, whether that be on a local level or a national level or a worldwide level. How can we make biodiversity a very important aspect of our day-to-day -day lives? And how can we improve biodiversity throughout our region?